Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Rusty Rose Gravel, and welcome back to Aberfoyle, a place that needs no introduction. So let's go! <laughs> no, of course, I'm joking. Always got to do an introduction. So, why am I standing here in front of a board surrounded by midges? Well, let me tell you. Today we're going to do the Lomond Loop of the new Waymart Gravel Foil Trails. The Gravel Foil Waymark Trails were launched in the summer of 2022 and offer three routes to explore Lockhart Forest. With options for a 10, 20 or 30 km route and hundreds of unmarked forest trails, the area really is a must-visit destination for gravel. Our 30km Lomond Loop sets off from Aberfoyle west into the Lockhart Forest. We will follow the same route as the Aqueduct Loop and pass some mad Victorian engineering as well as two aqueducts owing to the route's name. We then diverge from the aqueduct loop and head deeper into Lockhart Forest to seek out some views of Ben Lomond. The more adventurous can head off up to Coma and Loch Lomond for some truly stunning scenery. But we will loop back around and cycle along Lockhart, rejoining the aqueduct loop and down to Milton Forest Car Park along some busy single track and then back to Aberfoyle. This one's a 30 km loop, one of the three trails available here. This is the longest one. Now I've done some of this before when I did the Duke's Weekend but I can't really remember it so I thought we'd come back, give it a good look and see what it's all about. You can find out more about these on the gravelfoil.com website but today. Let's go along and follow this trail and get away from these midges, oh my word. So you join me at the divergence of one of the courses, the small fairy loop, the 10k loop goes off that way and then the aqueduct and the Lomond loop go that way. So in order of distance it's fairy at 10, aqueduct at 20 and Lomond at 30. But what's the point? Why, why have we got Waymart gravel routes? Surely gravel is about exploring, surely it's about getting out into the wilds and discovering what the landscape has to offer, you versus the landscape. Well, yeah, it is, but also it's not. What if you're just starting out? What if you're fairly new to riding or you're a bit nervous going out without being in a group? Maybe you need to have a bit more reassurance that where you're going is going to actually be safe. What about, hey, it's Scotland. I rode a route last week, you ride it this week. It's rained, the forestry have been in, the whole thing's been churned up, it's absolutely unrideable. That could absolutely ruin your day. So maybe a guarantee of consistency. That's a pretty good thing to know about when you're doing a ride like this. And also not everyone has a GPS head unit that they want to follow or has a phone that they can use on their handlebars. Maybe you're just out holidaying in the area. You hire a bike, you want to go for a ride. How do you find a good trail? Well, here we have it, the gravel foil trails. Now they're not suited for everyone by no means. Obviously there's hundreds of kilometers of trail around here. This is just like a, a highlighted tour, I guess. And you can use this as a launch pad to get anywhere else. For me, except for example, I wanted to go up to Coma and over to Loch Lomond. It's, on, it's been on my to-do list for ages, but actually I'm not going to bother doing it now probably because I'm just going to do this Lomond loop instead, get a feel for it. And then if I ever have time in the future, I might just pop over and do that bit, but maybe I don't need to now, <laughs> but there we go. So. This is why we have them. I think they're brilliant. I think we should have more stuff like this in forests. I mean, you get the mountain bike trails marked out fairly well, but yeah, making gravel circulars. This is brilliant. Big fan of this. The trail has been 
absolutely brilliantly, <laughs> brilliantly lane so far. I've had no issues, no single track at all yet. Only a few K in, I guess, but yeah, it's been absolutely perfect to ride on. No bother there. So, shame about the weather. Shame we don't get the weather guarantee with a, with a way marked route. But yeah, so let's get out of here. Let's get away from these midges. They're chasing me all day today. And see if we can get away from this rain. Let's keep going. Tell you what, it's moody in Lockhart Forest today. Very overcast. You wouldn't think it was the start of August. Oh, maybe you would. Scotland, after all. <laughs> Weather's never what you want it to be. Oh, this rain. It's just enough to soak the lens, but not enough to be actual rain. Drizzle, dricht, I guess is how you describe this. Horrible. So this is quite nifty. On the markers here, it tells you how much you've sort of completed of the loop. So we're 25% of the Lomond loop completed. It's pretty handy to know, especially if you've got no GPS head unit to tell you how far you've been or how far to go left. So that's excellent. Oh, <laughs> it's gonna be difficult to film this today. I tell you, this, this rain is a nightmare. The forecast said, no rain. <laughs> there we go, welcome to Scotland. So it's actually too wet to film. Like every time I turn the camera on, the lens just gets flooded. So I'm gonna cycle through this rain and hopefully it's gonna lift. I don't know if it will though, but <laughs> this could either be a video that I never release or I'll see you in a few seconds somewhere where it's not raining. Oh, brilliant. Oh, okay. We're at the divergence again, Lomond Loop crossing away from the aqueduct loop. There is said aqueduct, Aberfoyle famous. I seem to remember blabbling on about it when I was doing the Duke's Weekender. It's something to do with getting water to Glasgow from up here. <laughs> I think that's what they're all built for. Now they're just not used at all, but they are pretty cool landmarks. So we're going to not go that way. Our route goes this way, down into the clouds. Now it's still raining, most frustrating. I was hoping to get the drone up, but there's two reasons why I can't. One, it's raining, and two, there's um, HV power cables up there, or EHV power cables even, which I'm definitely not allowed to fly near. So maybe we'll catch a view of that when we return. I think when we come back, we sort of skip into it again and just about touch it, but don't quite go under it. So we'll catch that on the way back. Hopefully it'll be drier. Should we talk about the route that we've had so far then? So we must be on, what, 10K through, I guess, if we're halfway through the aqueduct loop, and it's all been like this. Lovely wide forestry track, no issues navigating. Posts are all clearly waymarked. Some of them are slightly behind bracken, so just be slightly careful. Um, there's one point where there's like an outdoor center or a house or something where if you don't don't catch the left turn, you'll end up in going the wrong way. But everywhere else, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Climbs are all right. There's a couple of them, but they're fairly tame. Good. Ah, oh, rain. Let's keep going. <laughs> Let's go and see what this Lomond loop's all about then. So the rain's not easing up any, but I'm gonna go for a risky drone. Get up there, see what it's like in the rain. Test it out. What's the worst that can happen? Look at these stunning views. <laughs> oh, I have not been this wet in a very long time. 
<laughs> this weather really caught me out. So we're halfway around the Lumen Loop by the looks of it, 50% on the way marker. <laughs> Down there is where we just came from. This is probably the steepest, sort of sharpest climb we've had so far. Just getting to this halfway point. Still very good, no problem. Road surface is good. Seems to be good all the way. Can't complain. I think you're supposed to be able to go further that way. Yeah, there's, there's the coma sign down there, look. And that will take you off up to see some awesome views. See Ben Lomond, see right across the forest. But we're not doing that today, even if I wanted to. With this rain and this cloud, we'll see absolutely nothing. Right, I'm gonna put the GoPro back in the bag before it fails on me again. And we'll keep climbing and I'll see you at the next stop. Oh, the rain has eased for like a second. I'm gonna get the drone up, try and get some more shots. <laughs> Let's go, go, go. The rain's lifted, hooray! We're getting some nice views now. Could have done with this a bit earlier. I think there's some more rain coming though, so I'm not gonna hang about. So we just climbed up a bit of a climb there. That's probably the second worst of the day. <laughs> that was slightly longer than the first one at the halfway mark, but above half from being punchy, it wasn't too bad. So, oh, I can't get over that, look at that. Look down there, isn't that amazing? Oh, it's good when the weather's out. So I think, there's a bit of single track coming up that we need to get ourselves sorted for. So back on the bike, get the GoPro back out. Now the rain's gone and let's get some filming done. Well, we seem to have joined up with all the other routes now. So that's the ferry and the aqueduct route joined up. Excellent. So if my calculations are correct, we should be able to just pop the drone up and grab a little shot of the aqueduct. Let's get that done.
Right, so we just descended down into the Lockhart car park. Um, be super careful if you're coming down there. It's really busy walking up. It's a wide track and it's fast. So you're going to run into walkers, so just be a bit careful. Now we've got the Espresso single track. I remember this from the gravel foil Dukes weekender. There were no walkers on at that time. So <laughs> I don't know how good it's going to be with bikes and walkers at the same time. This could be pretty tricky. Also, who in their right mind puts a map in upside down? She's asking for confusion. Follow these boys, they'll clear the way for me. Right, the espresso single track is done from Lockhart car park. Be super careful on there. It's really tempting to go fast and flowy through the single track, but you're just gonna plow into a dog or a child. So <laughs> be respectful there, I guess. It only, it's only a couple of minutes you have to slow down for. So yeah, be respectful, be slow, be careful. And then you soon pop out the other side back onto the tracks. No problem. Look at this, it's starting to rain again now. So I think I need to get going, try and get as much filmed as I can before I get wet again. Not far to go now, I think. Here we go. That's where I went earlier this morning in the rain. We've now looped right back round. And now we just go back to Aberfoyle. So let's find a little spot to sum up, I think. Alright, we are back in Aberfoyle after our 30k loop and what a loop it was. An excellent little loop around the forest, Lockhard Forest. Um, I think it's probably just, just the right length. I wouldn't want to do the shorter ones, I think, for me anyway. Um, that gave me a good distance out into a bit more remote areas. Got a bit busy as we got around to Lockhard Car Park, so be careful there. Um, Logistics wise, you can start here in Aberfoyle Centre or you could start in Lockhart Car Park, I guess. Start from either of those places. Midges everywhere. But yeah, lovely. Clearly marked, easy to follow. Um, I think there was only one sign that was slightly obscured by Bracken, but because I had it pre plotted anyway, I just followed the plot I had as well as a backup. But excellent. I'm sure the views would have been spectacular. Um, for my video, it's been a bit of a disaster. Like, I barely got anything recorded, <laughs> it's just too wet. But ride wise, lovely, a lovely ride. Recommend that to anyone. Of course, I recommend this place to anyone anyway. It's lovely around here. And now we've got these lovely introductory waymarked routes. Obviously, you don't have to follow them if you don't want to. You can use them as a launch pad to go further. Things like going up to Coma, over to Lot Lomond, right around there, that would be awesome. Or going further south a bit. Or even just going to the north side of um, Aberfoyle into the Duke's Pass and stuff. Excellent, so much around here. All right, enough waffle from me. I'm gonna pack up, get dry, have some lunch, and I will see you on the next video.